Mauga is a problem. He is one of the most frustrating characters we've had in Overwatch to date. And I really just hate his design. I'm gonna cover what I think the problem is with him and how we can fix him. The first thing I really dislike about Mauga is Risk. And no, I'm not talking about the board game, but the idea of risk that every other tank takes when they use their ability. For example, when a Winston jumps in, he takes a risk on being slept, bashed, booped, so on and so forth, right? Uh, same thing with all the other main mobility abilities of the tank role, right? Doom is weak during punch, so on and so forth. But Mauga is different. When Mauga presses shift, he's unstoppable. You can't interrupt the ability, you can't boop him, you can't do a lot. The only thing you actually can do is hit him with another Mauga pair. It's like an unstoppable force meets an unstoppable force. Usually, you would think that this comes with a trade-off of the ability not being cancelable, kind of like old Ryan Pin, but you can cancel it, so that's not there. Sticking with the Ryan Pin comparison, you can't even collide with him and knock him down like you can with Doom Punch and Break Bash. So what trade-off did they give the ability? The main downside of this ability is that it's sluggish to use and doesn't respond to inputs very quickly. It's kind of like Ryan Pin in that way, but with a more severe input delay. This style of trade-off makes the character feel more clunky and just makes the ability less fun. So what do I think can be done? First, I think unstoppable movement- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, it stuns. His, his, his shift stuns and it crits for some reason. It can do that, by the way. For, I forgot, my bad. Uh, so what they should do is make the movement stronger, maybe even make the strong stun stronger, but just get rid of the unstoppability, get rid of the clunkiness of the ability, and maybe even add like multiple hops or make it like something more dynamic and versatile rather than just go forward and don't be touched. So next is E or his cardiac arrest. It's annoying, but it's not as frustrating as it could be. What I will say about Mauga's sustain that is impacted by his E and his passive is that the way he's set up, it's almost a necessity to shoot the other tank when you're in a fight. Because you shoot the other tank to get health, and they die and you live and win the fight. But if you don't shoot the other tank, you just get shot and die. You're just like a meat wall and you can't really do a lot, so you just die. Uh, it's kind of like if Roadhog could only hook the other tank but could actually kill them when he hooks them. This kind of style makes it so Mauga has to shoot the enemy tank or he just dies. Not a lot can be done. Now, let's talk about Mauga ult. Cage fight, or what I colloquially refer to as goblin cage. The idea of the ult is cool. Partitioning off an area of play is a fun idea. It's almost like a big Winston bubble. And unlike his other abilities, there is drawback. You are stuck in the cage and can't use your ship. The ult is fine in terms of risk. But this is where the second main issue that I have with Mauga comes in. It's counterplay. Mauga is quite literally one of the most restrictive characters we've had in Overwatch. Look at this clip. I feed my brains out with this ult, but we win the fight because the ult traps everything and the enemy's bob, so they can't touch the point. If you are caught in his ult, then it feels like it would be quicker to leave the game and come back sometimes. There are a few support ults that can counter it, but I just hate the feeling of being slowed and unable to use almost any ability in the game. If Doomfist gets caught in it, he can only block and just wait until he dies. If Tracer gets caught in it, she can't use a single ability. Cage fight is too restrictive and has too little that can be done about it. I think the closest thing in the game to this level of inhibition is Sombra EMP. With EMP, there is a longer windup, there's more you can react to and counter with it though, but that's why it's different. With Malgol, all you can do is maybe cancel it or just try and stay stay away, but that's not an option in some cases, especially if you're trying to contest the objective. 
That's the crux of what I don't like about Mauga. When you are playing into him on the tank mirror, it feels like playing into a bigger Bastion sometimes. The Mauga will do nothing but shoot you. And because it's his only option, charge in with an unstoppable dash and ult you so you can do even less in an already difficult situation. A tank buster like Mauga has no place in a 5v5 world. I hope Mauga can get reworked to introduce more risk and counterplay through mobility and less of a focus on survivability and raw tank melting damage. Cool.